Welcome to the Funky Clucker. I'm Daryl. Uh, in case you don't know, I go around and uh, I think I've done it all my life. Go to flea markets, go to just yard sales, and just, just find the stuff that people don't know has value. And I collect it. So, problem is, I gotta get rid of a lot of the collection. So, uh, like comic books, stuff like that. I probably got a few comics, a few thousand comic books left. I'm gonna probably put them on eBay. Um, <clears throat> just a lot of interesting stuff. I'm gonna start today with five things that I've picked up recently that uh, I think most of them are for sale. Uh, there's a couple that, that might not be. So, um, at least not now, because I haven't found a second one. So, uh, let's start with this glass bowl here. So, I don't have many glass items on either of the stores right now just because, I don't know, I don't just collect glass items, but this one's kind of cool, kind of looks like a starfish. Uh, I do not think it's Murano, even though the bottom is fairly smooth, uh, it was uh, it was definitely just not like hacked off it and left like some other pieces, but there's some air bubbles in there, so it's just the, the it's cool uh it's probably as far as professionalized uh pieces go i would say it's like an eight out of ten as far as the craftsmanship for whoever did it just because all the bubbles i don't know if you can see the bubbles in there but it's still a really cool piece trinket piece you can put your earrings on there or something like that uh i don't know candy still cool uh, this, I do believe, is up on Etsy store. Uh, Funky Clucker on Etsy, Funky Clucker on eBay. It's there. Um, check it out. I mean, you know, I'm not... You guys don't need to buy anything, but if you want to like, share, subscribe or something, follow, that helps. It just pushes me through the algorithm for people that are trying to uh, to find these items. Um, and I always take requests, too. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting estate sales every weekend. Uh, that's my favorite thing to do just because like there's a ton of stuff in a compact area and if this person collected it chances are it has value um i was at a house the other day uh two estate sales ago i think two weeks ago and it was uh like it was i don't know i think they must have just moved and they were having an estate sale and not taking everything with them but they had some chinese uh tea sets Still haven't got the date of them yet, but so far, a couple of them are back into the 1700s, so that's pretty cool. Um, I just don't know how to put a value on it right yet, you know what I mean? So, uh, but we'll get there. Okay, <clears throat> the next thing is, I got a set of six, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven white or yellow jade elephants. I think it's yellow jade. A couple of them look pretty white but they're very similar in uh in color anyway so um look at these these are all crafted by hand trunks are all up so it's good luck i'm gonna drop this and i'll be mad uh <clears throat> but it goes they're they're they incrementally go downwards in size until you get to this little guy look at the little guy look at him ah little tiny guy perfect like i mean I don't know how you even carve something that small. So those are cool. Those are up. Um, these are a little pricey though. Just know that because they're all in perfect condition. The tusks are there, trunks are there, tails are there, ears are there. Nothing's broken off. Um, I mean, I, I kind of paid jewelry price for these, but they're pretty cool. Uh, okay, next item. So this here, the patent's from 1886. I don't know, so I don't know exactly like the ins and outs of the patents back in the day. So I'm sure when it says patent pending, that's when they filed for the patent, but this could be a couple years after. Uh, it's cool, it's a little safe box. I don't know what you would put in there. Like, I mean, I'll just smash the box and get what's in there. So I don't know. So it's cool, it's decorative. Um, it's uh, iron, cast iron, I do believe. Uh, but see, the thing is, it's like, I, I still... So this part here, a little ball, a little circle. Yep. So that spins. Doesn't look like it. 
But on the bottom, there's that. So if you took a pair of pliers and you spun this, you could just pop that off if you lost the key. So I don't know. It's cool. It says safe right on there. That's pretty awesome. Key works. Keys with it. I mean, the decor, the ornamentation on here. Oh, it's a piggy bank. I'm an idiot. It's a piggy bank. Okay. That makes sense. Still cool. Really cool. Uh, this, I don't know too much about. This is my wife's deal. I don't know. I saw it when I was checking out one time. It's a Limoges. Uh, the prices are so sporadic on uh, Etsy for these. Like the same one is anywhere from, I don't know, 50 to 100 and some dollars. Like, I put it up there at the low end. So if it's something you're into... I mean, it's it's it, there's no chips, no scr no scratches, uh, the gold is all in place. It's a really cool piece. It says Limoges on the back. It's probably in reverse. I'll probably have to flip the camera or something, but it's hard to see. It's so reflective. Uh, it comes with this little stand. I mean, it's a cool piece. It's just not my style. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's supposed to be like an apple or or whatever. It's got a stem. I don't know. I don't know. Pretty cool. Pretty detailed. Let's see if I can get you a better image of the inside yeah that looks cool okay so if anybody's got any information on any of this because i like i've got so much stuff i'm just trying to look it up but i try to put as much information in the write-up as possible because i want people to make an educated decision you know what i mean i'm not going to put something up saying it's authentic if i know it's a replication it's not going to happen so um, but I try to give as much information as possible. I am not a professional uh, appraiser or uh, antiques uh, professional. Uh, I just like learning. I like learning interesting stuff. I got so much interesting things to tell you guys and show you guys. Like, it's just ridiculous. Um, so, final thing. Really cool. I want to take my wife out before I get rid of it. So, this is not up on uh, either of the stores. Look at that mesh bag, evening bag. Look at that. Now, I don't know, I'm gonna try. I don't know if I can, if you can see the ornamentation on the, hmm, I apologize. My stupid face is in the way too, it looks ugly. Well, whatever. Um, there is, I'll try to get a picture, a better picture and I'll post it maybe. Um, as, <laughs> chain it's just so ornamental each link has carvings in it so man i don't know it's from 1920s uh evening bag you know i, I i'm gonna take her out first before we uh get rid of this bad boy um so that's it uh in case you're wondering the chair i'm sitting in i just picked those up over the weekend i got that one there the one i'm in yep so these are pretty cool got them for 80 bucks um pretty <laughs> condition i mean there's not very much wear on them uh just the one arm the lady must have sat in the uh same spot all the time um this lamp i got this lamp 50 bucks look at this thing this thing's so gaudy ridiculous it's amazing and then uh, my wife thinks that's a wheelchair, but I think it's a stroller. And I'm gonna say it's a stroller because it'd be creepier if it's a wheelchair. So, all right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you got, I don't know, some entertainment value out of it. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe, maybe, whatever you wanna do. And uh, see you on the next time. Thank you.